It's out with the old and in with the new at the Nagani Memorial Gymnasium. Local 3's Rebecca Bartolme has more on their latest renovation and how it pays tribute to those who have made contributions to the school district. About three years ago, Nagani Public Schools created a new concession stand in a different location in their gym, leaving the old one empty. Since then, this area kind of has been neglected a little bit and it definitely needed some TLC. And we were wondering what we could put down here that would bring people back into this area. Now that area is being transformed into a Hall of Fame. We have a Hall of Fame committee put together, um, actually two committees. One is a strict Hall of Fame committee of eight members, and then we have a voting member committee of 46 members. The Hall of Fame will include their inaugural induction class. Back in November we started putting together some paperwork and pushed it out to the community asking for um, people to nominate um, community members, maybe past alumni, teachers, um, that have made significant contributions to Nagani Public Schools. And throughout that process, we had 18 people um, returned back to us as potential nominees for um, the first class to be inducted. The five finalists are Alan Goofus Amos Mackey. He graduated from Nagani High School in 1969. The school says he was widely regarded as Nagani's super fan. His signature chant and playing the Miners fight song on his kazoo was a tradition in minor sports. Goofus passed away in 2018, but the school says his spirit and pride he felt for his community will forever be a part of Nagani. Jerry Anderson was the band and music teacher for the district for 37 years, and he graduated from the high school in 1967. The school says he directed the marching band and pep band, boosting the energy of fans on both sides of the scoreboard, and received numerous awards throughout his career, including most influential educator numerous times from his students. Dick Kosky served as a teacher, assistant principal, athletic director, and coach for the school district. He led the boys track and field team to the UP track championship in 1985. He is best known in the community for the 32 years he spent as the head coach of the varsity football team, over which he compiled a career record of 208 wins, 96 losses, one tie, and a state football championship game appearance in 1991. H.B. Krogman became the high school principal in 1894, and eventually the superintendent. He contributed to many things for the district, like equipment and coaching and athletics, providing free textbooks to students, choosing the school fight song, and branding the school as the Miners. He unexpectedly died in 1900 at only 30 years old. Mary Trolla was the middle and high school choral teacher for over 24 years. She retired in 1986. The school says in her time at Nagani, chorus groups were among the finest in the Upper Peninsula, earning countless first division ratings at music festivals throughout the years. She served as a mentor to other educators and musicians for many years until she passed away in 2016. An induction ceremony was was planned for during Pioneer Days this summer, but that has been canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. A grand opening for the Hall of Fame is scheduled for later this summer, and the induction ceremony will be in the fall. Reporting in Nagani, Rebecca Bartlemay, Local 3 News.